what's up everybody? Nicholas Kuzmich here from nicholaskuzmich.com and in this video we're going to be talking about scaling your Facebook ads profit profitably. How to scale your Facebook ads to the tune of however much you want to spend. We've spent in excess of $100,000 a day per campaign. Uh, but however you want to scale that without losing your campaign's ROI. Because hey, if you're anything like me, what you may have noticed is every time you try to scale a campaign, it ends up turning against you, the campaign goes down the toilet, and then you're back at square one. And again, this means whatever it means for you. Some people, if you're spending $100 a day, maybe you wanna spend $1,000 a day. Others of you are spending $10,000 a day, wanna spend $100,000 a day. This is the way to do it. And that's what we are talking about here today. Now, before we begin, I have a scaling training called the Rapid Scaling Matrix that sells for $997. But today, I'm giving it away absolutely free as a bonus for those who join the council. So if you are serious about scaling your campaigns, whatever that means for you again, Go to nicholaskuzmich.com slash rapid scaling. Learn all about that. Grab your training absolutely free just for joining the council today. So here's the basic things that we need to understand about scaling. You need three things in place to successfully scale a campaign. Thing number one is understanding your magic metric. You see, all scaling is going to come down to understanding what your KPIs are, your key performance indicators, and all of your decisions on how to set things up is going to come from understanding this. Now, we made a video of that in the past. I suggest you go check that out when you can. The second thing you need is having good campaign architecture, right? You need to know how to set up your campaigns properly in order for you to set this up to scale drastically. If you got it set up incorrectly, that's no good. If you set it up properly, it allows you to scale to the moon. And then thirdly, you need to understand what I call the rapid scaling matrix, which essentially has four phases to it that are deployed chronologically and they layer one on top of the other. And this is essentially how we were able to scale to the multiple millions of spend per month per campaign to get to those levels. Now, talking about the four campaigns, let me just kind of briefly walk you through these. And then today we're going to focus on one of them. The first level is what I call pace budgeting. And what pace budgeting allows you to know is knowing how and when to increase your budgets. The second one is what I call mirror reaching. I gotta spell that right. And mirror reaching teaches you how to balance the difference between going wide and going deep with your scaling. The third one I call very eight, and this is how to instantly 4X your spend on all of your winning campaigns. And lastly, what I call objectify. And for the sake of this video, let's talk about this one today. And this is just basically understanding campaign structures and using that in your favor to be able to reach more of your potential buyers that you're most likely missing. Now, before we go on again, I have this uh, training program called the Rapid Scaling Matrix. It sells for $997 and it's where I deep dive into each of these four elements, these four chronological phases that you stack on top of each other in order to scale your campaigns to the moon without losing your return on ad spend. If you'd like that, I'm giving away this training, usually sells for $9.97, absolutely free for those who join the council today. Again, if that's of interest to you, go to nicholaskuzmich.com slash rapid scaling and learn all about it. Now, let's get back to this Objectify concept. Most of the time when we run our campaigns, whether that's kind of a, a lead gen campaign or a sales campaign, we are running it with the campaign objective in Facebook. So this is our Facebook campaign objective as 
conversions, right? Now, if you're doing a lead generation campaign, you would optimize for lead. If you're doing a, a direct to sale campaign, you would opt optimize for purchase. And this is the way where Facebook goes out into the Facebooks essentially, looks for all the people who have triggered a similar pixel sometime in the past, and then shows your ad to those specific people. This is the reason why nine times, eight or nine times out of 10, this campaign structure ends up working best because Facebook is trying to find the similar type of people who are going to convert at the level that you're trying to convert at, right? Now, let's just say for the sake of example, if our target audience for people that we are going after, and let's just say this is all of them here, right? This is everybody that Facebook can reach in our target audience. Let's just say, that if we did a conversion campaign, and again, these numbers are not exact, I'm just using these numbers for the sake of this example. Let's say when we're doing a conversion campaign and this audience is one million people. Facebook might look at that and say, well, those who are most likely conver uh, to convert, that would make up, you know, 250,000 people, right? Again, this is not perfect science and these are not perfect numbers, but Facebook would look into your potential reach of the people that are in your ideal client base, uh, target base based on your targeting. And you're saying, let's optimize for conversions. Facebook would look at it and say, okay, well of that 1 million people, 250,000 of them are most likely to convert. Let's show the ad to those 250,000 people. And this is why you will see a, a potential reach estimated. But then when you run your ads, you start to see your frequency go up, even though it hasn't reached that potential reach. And this is why again, Facebook, is focusing on your campaign objective. So in this element, right, if we are going to be talking about how to scale, if Facebook is reaching 250 people through a conversion campaign, what would happen if we duplicated the campaign, but this time instead of making your campaign objective conversions, what if you went ahead and made it traffic, right, which is clicks. Now Facebook would look at this pie and say, well, of those who are most likely to click, right, landing page views or clicks, maybe this is 450,000. And just like that, by changing the campaign objective, Facebook is going to show your ads to a different segment of your potential reach. And this is how to instantly start going from, let's say you're spending whatever, $1,000 a day here successfully, if you open up a broader target market, you can end up spending another one or two or $3,000 just for this. Now, pure disclaimer here, your traffic campaign may not convert as well as your conversion campaigns by the nature of the type of campaign it is. But here's the deal. As long as you know your magic metric and your KPI, it doesn't even matter what this is as long as you are getting acquisitions within a number that you are comfortable with. Right now, again, before we go on, if you're serious about scaling your Facebook campaigns without compromising your return on investment, again, I have this new training called the Rapid Scaling Matrix, which goes over my four causes or my four phases of scaling campaigns. This usually sells for $9.97. We are giving it away absolutely free as a bonus gift for those who join the council today. So go to nicholaskuzmich.com slash rapid scaling to learn more about that. So uh, we've looked at, let's say we're, uh, we're um, uh, focusing on conversions to start, right? Our objective is conversions and we're running some campaigns that way. And then now we're like, well, we want to reach more people. So we change it and we have a duplicate campaign, but this one is going after traffic. So Facebook is selecting another segment of the marketplace. What if we go ahead and we did that again?